Welcome back to Extended Play at Shiny Entertainment in Laguna Beach, California. Now, normally when you think of role-playing games, you would think PC or PlayStation, because the N64 isn't really known for RPGs, possibly because the cartridge format just isn't big enough to hold all that data. Now, Japanese developer Quest and publisher Atlas have brought us Ogre Battle 64. Here's an RPG that packs a whole lot of gameplay into only 35 megs. <laughs> As most N64 owners know, RPGs are a rare commodity in the system's library. Ogre Battle 64, person of lordly caliber, attempts to fill the gap. Any self-respecting strategy RPG needs an epic story filled with political intrigue, kingdom-wide upheaval, clashing armies, and spell-binding sorcery twists. Ogre Battle 64 delivers all of these. When in battle, input is limited to strategy choices such as attack leader or attack strongest. While this style of play can have its disadvantages, the AI's ability to choose targets more than makes up for it. The real strategy of Ogre Battle 64 comes from preparation, not in-battle tactics. The massive organizational screen allows you to juggle soldiers between units, change equipment for individuals, change character classes, and shift a unit's formation, and more. Visually, Ogre Battle 64 may disappoint those who demand a large helping of 3D eye candy in their games. The graphics are not ugly by any means, but polygons are few and far between. For N64 owners craving strategy fare or for fans of the RPG genre looking for something rarely seen these days, Ogre Battle 64 is a fine choice. Extended Play gives Ogre Battle 64, person of lordly caliber, a 3 out of 5.